Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. A great thank you for all new subscribers. Thanks for the ongoing support that I'm getting from everyone else. So I've been examining this beautiful surface um, structure. No, it's several structures, but the way it's um, the foundations of it all on the surface along Copernicus Crater is absolutely amazing to see. It looks like some almost like a bell shaped something lying down and high rising off the surface. Um, listen, spraying on the surface of the moon, but looking really closely at what's going on in the moon and this definite haze problem or dust problem on the surface, but looking closely, uh, seeing actual alien activity or, you, you know, UFOs interacting on the surface. That's what we're looking at. We're seeing lights light up in these mists or hazes. I'm trying really, really hard to get rid of uh, and the purple helps to get rid of the dusts and mists that we're seeing, the distortion in the photo. You know, there's a limit of optics, of course, the pixelation limit. If I get any closer than this, well, it's really useless because we can see well enough exactly what's going on. We're not going to see the surface more. It's We're on top of the hay, so the surface is actually always hidden, probably. This is just along Clavius Crater, and we do see an interaction, you know. I went through all these things like, could it be storms and... Uh, could it be anything else? Well, you know, they're just not necessarily acting like storms. We're seeing just this sudden quick trail um, being literally sprayed along Clavius Crater, but we got proof of some lights and some interaction inside of that. So, you know, again, I'm showing this. If we're on the surface of the moon and all this is being sprayed, for example, I believe the top, over top of this, is what everyone's seeing of the surface of the moon. We're not seeing underneath but sometimes we can see clearings. It's hard to understand, but not that hard to understand if you know if you can use that theory. But again, of course, just the theory like many will say. So underneath these lights, if they have the same reflectivity as the surface, they're near impossible to see. They're going by fast also. So this is why we only get glimpses of these objects on the surface, but they're leaving vapor trails um, they're leaving um, lights on the surface. I mean, I don't know how, how to explain it. Lights are, are activating themselves as these objects are going by. So yeah, could it be a machine? Could these be people? These are all theories, but they're amazing. Could it be people traveling over the surface of the moon in these? Could it be um, digital signals, massive pulsations that we're actually seeing some type of wavelength or energy that's crawling around the moon, making this machine, uh, you know, function. And I'm saying that just briefly or basically when I say the machine, right? We do see what we look like machine parts. Okay, it doesn't mean it is, but still very interesting. And when we see these lines, you know, it makes me think of energy. I say, are they gathering energy, you know? And it reminds me a lot of Earth when you think of it. And you see these platformed objects that really don't look like they're necessarily broken at all. And you say, well, you know, could someone have lived up there? And it's not exaggerated with the proof that we're finding. And they could even be there now because, listen, we're seeing UFO activity on the moon. One mile long, that little light you see there. The building of a radio telescope. So this agency makes... Um, space parts, uh, microwavable space parts. And I went through, I'm not going to again this time, all the quantity of uh, parts and stuff they do for space, uh, satellites, uh, communications. This is a microwaving radio telescope. And we're gonna go see it. It needs no explanation. I got some music up, but a bit closer. And I saw it change angles and now it has lights on it and uh, it seems to be connected. Let's go take a look. Filmed uh, last minute with a phone in the pouring rain. So I did some adjustments, enjoy. A couple days ago it was straight up and now it is facing um, sideways somewhat and you will see that there are actually functional lights on it now.
got to let your mind broaden, widen, you know, have an open minded thought of what's going on up there because I'm telling you, it's not what you think. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is, um, a constructed object, what I believe, but it doesn't mean it is. Okay. It's they're connected and uh, supposedly ejecta around the craters. These, um, objects or structures have a material. So they found a material that's reflective either just to our eyes or maybe even to them and causing a reflective surface, having a hard time to see the objects and structures. And for the longest time, people have never doubted this, I guess. Well, it's not that I'm doubting anything. I'm just telling you guys and gals that up on the surface of the moon, I'm finding all this and this is my theory. And hey, I could be wrong. Of course I am. I'm no scientist. I get it. I'm not credible. But let me tell you something. Uh, finding footage like this makes you wonder. This is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>